I'm going live. I want the world to know. What is all this stuff in my shot? <laughs> I didn't do a camera check before I got on live. But anyways, guys. Um, I didn't put up a deep condition today. I feel like this is going to fall. Hey, Kiara. I didn't put up a deep condition. And I was like, I got to get this. Deep. When I don't put up a deep condition, that doesn't mean that I deep condition and just didn't show y'all. Like, I did deep condition my hair. And it's always pre-recorded except when I do the live on every last Sunday of the month. But I was like, listen, they're going to get this live today, okay? So, yeah, uh, sis, uh, I just wet my hair. It was already washed. Like, this, oh, girl, my hair is washed, freshly washed. And detangled. Let me just start there. Finally, I was waiting on you all day. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was like, bro, they finna get these. Um, they finna get these. Um, Kadish. Um, uh, and the sun go down in about. I like to do it on natural sunlight when I do my lives. And the sun finna go down in about an hour. So you know, we gotta speed this up. And my hair is drying so fast. But what's up? What y'all doing? How y'all Sunday going? I'm so happy to see y'all live like so i bet i feel like wait y'all get two lives this month because y'all get a live next next week too yay you finally made a live what's up who is it <laughs> finally made a live let's tackle this um did y'all have any topics that y'all wanted me to start off on i, I feel like i should give it the floor to you guys. Why is my, I feel like I'm about to go get my spray bottle or something. My hair, it feels like it's dried already. Mmm. Um, let's start off the fist pump news of the week. Basically, it's really not a lot. Uh, Kendrick and Drake basically won some like Billboard Awards. Could y'all believe that's the only positive thing I've seen? That's the only thing I've seen today. I mean, this week. I'm like, what's really good? I'm positive. How about that? Positive energy. How about that? So, um, yeah, I guess y'all don't have anything I want to start off on. So, let's jump into the mess. My hair is really drying quick. Like, what's up with that? It dry quick until you twist it. And then it don't want to be dry quick. So, ain't that crazy? Only put I know. That's crazy, right? Okay, so I heard somebody say the wedding. Hey, Toya. The royal wedding. This, this on the mess thing. So I'm going to be deep conditioning with my protein. I feel like I have my camera flipped the opposite way, so I might be looking like not into the camera. Just roll with you, girl. So I'm going to be using this. It's RS Hair Mayo. And it's like conditioning for me. And it's a little bit uh protein like a medium protein for me so it's not really strong and it doesn't make my hair hard soft but you know get a little extra hole in so somebody wanted me to talk about the royal wedding um i i ain't gonna i ain't gonna even you know flex like i didn't really expect anything like i didn't expect to view it or anything like that i didn't expect it to be so you know <laughs> I did not expect it, but girl, when I got on social media and I seen um the choir with the choir had twist outs or braid outs. Hey Brit, um the choir had twist out braid outs, feed in braids. I'm like, what's good? We we in here. <laughs> I was shocked. Um, I think the pastor was black. And it was just, it just looked like a good old mixed time, you know. And I'm going to say mixed because the congregation, everything was mixed. And even Megan is mixed, like, let's be real. But um, it was it was just looked like a good old mixed time. It didn't look washed out with anything. And, you know, which was good. Um, She really got to express her and her side and her roots. And she didn't let him, like, dominate everything cause of, because of tradition. So, how did y'all feel about that? Um, How did y'all feel? about her wedding dress i heard it was like worth thousands and thousands of dollars it was really simple it wasn't like ugly but it wasn't like extravagant and some people just aren't extra so and that's okay you know what i'm saying i'm a little extra you know? <laughs> i'm a little extra but you know that's either here nor there <laughs> 
So, uh, I thought it was cute. She was cute. Shout out to her mama with the little dreads in her head. I was like, okay. And um, they was talking about it on social media saying her mama looked like an older Cardi B. I ain't gonna play with that one of them, okay? Um, I thought that was crazy. Um, why well, I don't look like no product on my hair? But you can literally hear the product. I didn't watch, but I saw it on social media. Me too, girl. I woke up late. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the dress was a little simple. But, you know, that castle, though. Let's <laughs> let's get on this castle. I feel like I'm going to have to go wet my hair again. Because I feel like if it's not wet, then it's going to absorb all the product. I wasn't interested in the wedding. The part I was with, though. I saw her mom's dress. And I thought it was crappy. Wow. Now, y'all know Cardi B ain't got no dress. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to get my spray bottle and I do not want to get up. Okay, we're going to roll with this. Why did I bring my... Girl, I bring that spray bottle over here every deep condition, barely use it. <sighs> Why y'all thought that was Cardi B sitting in that car? I'm not about to play with y'all, like, at all. I'm just going to wait it at the end. But, um, yeah, I thought the wedding was interesting. And did y'all see how people uh was... Posted up how the crowd looked when the preacher, when the pastor was like preaching. Everybody was in the crowd. I don't know what they were smirking for. Like I didn't get that part. That was like the reactions of the crowd. Why did they not? Weren't they? Weren't they not listening? Or like I didn't get that. I don't know. I didn't really like that. <laughs> All I know is I seen. Oh, you know, Oprah was there. Oprah leaned in with that with that church hat on. I was like, yes, sir. yes. Sir. <laughs> That was neat. Anyways, if you're just now coming into the room, hey y'all, this is a surprise live. I wonder what y'all doing this Sunday. Kicking it with your girl. I hope y'all's day has been positive and blessed. Um, I just been lounging around, I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? But my hair, you know, I don't really play about this, so I just had to do something to my hair because it has been a little dry lately. I think next week I'm going to go in what would Cardi B and kid be? I'm not gonna play. <laughs> uh, I'm about to go. I think next week I'm gonna go in with the clay mask. The what is it? Bentonite clay. The Indian clay mask, girl. I think I'm gonna go in with that just so I can get a deep cleanse because I haven't done it in um a couple of months. So. Yeah, but right now, if you're just entering the room, I'm deep conditioning with my ORS Hair Mayo, which is very conditioning for me, um, as well as it does have a slight protein hold, too. So, yeah, hit the thumbs up button if you, you know, you excited about this deep condition, you know, live, two lives in a month, like, let's do it. I feel like one month, I should do a live every Sunday. I wonder how that would be. But y'all have to like watch me. Like I don't want to be on here live and y'all like not in the room with me. So, you know, let's just keep it real. I need you guys. <laughs> Are you still transitioning? Yes, but the back of my hair is damn near completely natural. The back portion. Um, most of my um chemically processed hair is towards the front of my hair which frames my face which makes my twist outs and stuff look like longer and just you know i can i can get a little flex out of them so yeah um that's it that i have to talk about the wedding for let's get into have y'all heard about the drake drake and amigos tour it's called aubrey and the three amigos and they're going on tour and i saw a lot of the the places that they were going. I really didn't want to talk about it because they're not coming to Austin. And I'm like, okay. Okay. Austin people turns up to these turns. I ain't going to say turn up. Austin people turn, shows up to the concerts. But instead of like singing and being excited, they just like stare. And everybody be like so frustrated with this crowd. It's like so retarded. They will fight you in order to be close to the stage. But they'll just stand there like do you know the lyrics of get out the way i'm the biggest fan you know what i'm saying like i don't understand this but anyways um yeah i, I would be excited to go though amigos the amigos amigos and drake i think that'll be really exciting but um i know it's going to atlanta they got like a lot of shows in los angeles they have some in san fran i think 
a lot of shows in Atlanta, a lot of shows in Houston, but they ain't coming here. So I'm like, okay. So are you a shampoo and before deep condition? Yes, I always detangle and shampoo before my hair is completely clean, sis. It just look like it's dry. It's damp, really, but girl, my hair is a mess, okay? I wish I was signing with someone else. Huh? I didn't get that one. But, um, you know, let's keep rolling. <laughs> uh, Offset, speaking of the Migos, Offset was in a car accident and they say he wrecked the car and like jumped out and like left the scene and you would think that if somebody do that like they good but i've seen the pictures have y'all seen the pictures of the car like how was he even able to walk away from that i feel like that is a blessing itself but his mouth was a little banged up but he posted a video that man back in the studio like <laughs> he said look i almost lost my life let me make some more music y'all ain't that inspiration look at god like nobody was hurt it did look crazy hey youtube ain't see miss lisa it looked crazy i don't know his wristband what said 1907 um <laughs> i got questions it looked crazy i'm just able i'm just happy he was able to like walk away from that that's crazy they said cardi uh rushed to you know try to rest his side and make sure he was okay like make sure your baby daddy okay girl i see you i see you <laughs> um next i know y'all heard about the little ti situation he had with his um security guard that that um controls like the gate his gated community i guess he lost he left some at the house i don't know and he couldn't get in the gate and him and, look at this <laughs> him and the um every time i deep condition with this it gets everywhere any other deep condition i'm good but anyways him and the security guard got had a few words and the security guard called the police because he felt threatened i don't know some bs some b is but you know i feel like it wasn't that big of a deal he did go to jail like wrongfully i believe but ti got a little mouth and they did say that he um had been drinking but they called tiny and she was like yeah let him in and then he said something crazy to her and then ti was like no who you talking to you talking to my wife it's, that's somehow how it went so i feel like that's how the situation escalated but I ain't married, child, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I know who isn't married still, and they still going through, like, a lot. I feel like they, they be in the news, like, at least every other week. Nas and his ex fiance, his ex, his ex wife, let's say fiance, his ex wife, she still want more child support. She got to let the world know that she only getting 800, 800, yeah, uh-uh. She got to let the world know, his ex-wife, y'all, that she only getting 8K in um, child support. And so they had this man, finances, plaster all over for the world to see. He made like 175K a month. That's what he bringing in. He got like 800, not 800. He got like 8 mil in, in like in total, in like in banks. But she say, listen, you got the money. Yeah, we already talked about the wedding, um, Auntie. But um, look, Khalise, say y'all uh you got the money, you finna pay. <laughs> I feel like I don't know. I feel like you she well off. I feel like. Um I don't know, girl. I ain't got no kids, so I don't know. I honestly just don't know how that goes. But I feel like the child is taken care of. She just she want her fair share of what it should be. That's all I'm going to say. Um, don't know how to feel about that. Maybe, sis. Go ahead. Um, Y'all know I used to really like Nas. I don't, I like him now, but not like to the extent that I used to like him. I can't believe I'm actually saying this. <laughs> um, yeah. If you're just coming into the room, um, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you guys haven't seen it already, I'm deep conditioning with the ORS hair mail. And we already talked about Royal Wedding. We talked about T.I. his finances. We talked about Aubrey and the Three Amigos. 
tour. And we also talked about offsetting his car accident. Is there anything else that I miss, y'all? Because I feel like I don't be here. The only other thing that I've seen that's not like celebrity news, this little thing going around social media um, of this audio. And it's saying, is it saying Yanni or is it saying Laurel? Which one do y'all hear? Because I know y'all have seen this. It's like the 2018 like black dress. Is this dress black and blue and black or is this dress white and gold? I always saw white and gold with the dress. But in this audio, I don't see how in the hell the child said y'all hear Yanny. It's not Yanny. It's clearly saying Laurel. Even when they try to break it down and like switch the audios up, it says Laurel. <laughs> like plain as day. You know, I feel like I got good ears. Maybe not, but I tried to listen for it and it literally says Laurel. Laurel. The guy in the recording is saying Laurel. I think he said Laurel. And y'all talking about Issa, Yanni, girl. If I ever need y'all to listen for anything, y'all ain't listening for the po po but me. Because y'all can't even hear that the audio clearly says Laurel. I don't know. It's something about, like, they have loyal laurels in the low pitch and they got something else in the high frequency. And so they're blending them together and they just freaking with people's head. <laughs> And it still say Lord. I don't care what y'all say. <laughs> That's the only other thing. Um, my witty listens for the week. We're going to jump into that. I revisited SZA's album, Control. I've been, I probably listened to that album like two or three times this week. Really, really been on like just the normal stuff. Like the Breakfast Club podcast. Because I can't, I don't have time to sit around, sit around and watch them on YouTube. Um... Yeah, so my song for the week, my witty homework for the week is, oh, that's what I'm talking about, the oldest song. My, but my witty, what my homework for y'all for the week, I don't know if y'all heard her, her name is Malaya, Maha, Mahila. Anyway, it's spelled M-A-H-A. L I A. That's the name of her, and the song is called Sober. And you gotta listen to this song in like the acoustics um version because it sounds better. If you write that down, y'all, listen to it. I think she's British. You really can't you can hear the little bit in her song, but you can't hear it a lot. It's a really good song. I like it. So go listen and tell me how you like it, you guys. You gotta tell me. Um, it's a really, it, it's kind of, I ain't gonna say it's sad, but it's like a breakup song, so, I think. Um, but I like the sound of it. So, yeah, um, what y'all been listening to? Or, and do you have any other questions for me? Because this was fun. It turned out good. Y'all thought my hair was gonna be, like, really dry and sucking it up. You can even see, like, my, okay, let me show y'all. You can either see, like, this section is natural. This other section, you can see I got a little straight ends over here. But like this front section, you see a lot of it. It's like, it's not like a little hair. It's like a lot of hair. So, yeah. And I used up a half of container with one deep finish. So I feel like when I do go cut all my um, processed ends off, I'm so excited to use the last product. Like, what the hell? This is not fun. <laughs> like, I'm not going to miss it. Eventually, I'm probably still kind of using the same amount of product as my hair grows. But, bro, I don't know if I'm just heavy-handed or wet. Sis. It's... Yeah, it looks okay. It was looking a little dry at first. But, yeah, if you guys don't have any more questions for me, um... I'm going to kind of go. <laughs> but, uh, ooh, girl, see? This is just crazy. Uh, I'm so happy that my phone didn't fall <laughs> this week. <laughs> happy about that. But, oh, look at this. Look at that. You can kind of see my separation, my line of demarcation here a little. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up button off GP. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this surprise live. I will see y'all next Sunday, probably around three or four ish. Mark it off your calendar, speech kids, go to church, be here, or be 
block, blocking all y'all. Okay, bye.